We have the finished product. Oh, it's mixed with this apple jelly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Yanni's Diary and in today's video I've decided to do a punch. So it's supple gen mixed with oats. So here I have my rolled oats. So I'm gonna add some rolled oats into the container first. I don't want it too thick so I'm just gonna add a small amount. Probably half cup. This is good, you know, for me. So next I'm gonna add a banana. So if is it that you want a small amount of banana, like half the banana, you put the amount of banana that you would need in it. I'm gonna put one banana. So you break it up in small pieces. And put it in the blender. So I'm gonna add half teaspoon of chia seeds. You could put whatever amount that you may like. So now I'm gonna put a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. Just to prevent um, from getting diarrhea. <laughs> you know, until the labor. Some nutmeg in it. Just a bit. So next, I'm gonna grate some cinnamon sticks. Always use a powder cinnamon if you're not in the mood of gratering. But I have the, the sticks here. So I'm just gonna grate them. Just to give it a cinnamony taste. <laughs> Next, we're gonna add just a bit of vanilla essence. So now I'm gonna add about half teaspoon of vanilla essence. Now I'm gonna add my supplegen. Supplegen. So I would only add half of the box the next thing that I'll be adding is a little bit of malta I'm gonna use half bottle of the malta you could you may use Guinness or dragon if you wish but I choose malta today Yeah, and expect it to froth. So wait until it settle a bit before you add more to it. All right, so that's good enough for me. So now we're gonna blend everything. Now that we have finished blended everything, we're gonna pour the punch in the glass. Nice. Ready? 
And then we're gonna finish garnishing the punch. <laughs> so I'm adding a bit more nutmeg. And a little bit more of grated cinnamon stick. And there we have it. Our oats, supple gen, malta, banana, cinnamon stick, and nutmeg mix. So this is a closer look of the punch. So yummy, yummy, yummy. And uh, there's a closer look of the ingredients as well. So you have your supple gen, your malta, you could use guineas. I hope you guys try it and enjoy. So now I'm going to set it aside in the freezer for a bit to get it chilled and then I'm going to enjoy it with a spoon. You could also drink it from the glass if you wish but once you put it in the fridge you know that it was, it's going to be a little bit thicker and you could use a spoon to enjoy it as if it's an ice cream. Okay guys, we have reached the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.